Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage journey is at the Pont du Gard Aqueduct in southern France. These are the remains of the Roman aqueduct at the Pont du Gard in southern France, not far from the city of Nîmes. And at over 300 metres long and nearly 50 metres high, it's one of the most impressive Roman ruins still standing anywhere in the world. Let's check it out. So the aqueduct was built in the first century AD and it's three series of arches stacked on top of each other. Now the full water course from the spring to the city runs for over 50 kilometers and it's amazing that the aqueduct only changes in height by 12 meters across that entire 50 kilometers. This bridge that we're walking on now, it descends only two and a half centimeters over the full 300 meters, which just tells you how amazing Roman engineers were. This is a really cool detail. You can see there's a huge stone block sticking out of the aqueduct behind me. And that's actually a support pillar for the scaffolding that was used in the construction. So this is the water channel on top of the aqueduct and this is where the water would actually flow through across the bridge and then directly into a tunnel in front of me. And it would carry quite a large volume of water. The spring up in the hills produces a huge amount of water and of course the city of Nîmes, once it started to really grow when the aqueduct was connected, was insatiably thirsty. The aqueduct would feed fountains, reservoirs, drinking, bathhouses of course, and even the amphitheater where they would flood it occasionally to have mock naval battles. Now the eagle-eyed of you might have noticed that there's an actual bridge alongside the aqueduct at the lowest level of the arches, and that's much more recent. That dates from the 18th century. And it's part of the reason the bridge has survived so well for as long as it has, because once it couldn't transport water anymore after a lack of maintenance, it became a very important road conduit for the local area, and the local bishops and lords took turns maintaining the structures. And of course, they were built fantastically well in the first place. Just the dimensions of this are absolutely mind-blowing and it's a real testament to Roman engineering. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.